enchanted and you know what does it mean it probably means that you see your trip being stopped out first and then after that you move in your original direction you could have made lots of money from the trip but you will stop out instead and you lose money let me share how I traded index futures with Wash and Reins, which is something that designed to counter this top hunting and to counter this fake move, and especially to make money from all this movement. This is a chart on a July Simsky contract. This is the current month. So for futures, we are trading the current month. For me, because of the short-term data, that's why I prefer to use wash and means. Now, before I start, let's recap in this section here, what is wash and means. And because price is right now into a resistance, I will talk about bearish wash and means first. Uh, first, I have uh, price near to a resistance. And of course, with wash and means, the first condition is to look for price near to a resistance. And we will be selling when price moves up. So that's the very important criteria and I will be looking for some form of a upward movement. So this is like an upward movement here. Right, I'll be able to draw in the wash line. What I need to do is to identify any candles that are closed above the previous high. If we take a look into candle number one, so this is uh, one here and versus two, right? You can see that two close above one high and with this, I'll be able to draw in a wash line at the high of one. And um, um, very simply, what I also need to know is that this part here should be a resistance. So I need to find that that's a resistance. It's just nice because price had moved downwards and then it hit into a previous high here. So that's a previous high as a potential resistance. And here with the wash line drawn in, I would be going into the lower time frame. And this is the lower time frame for futures. I'm looking at uh, one hour as a lower time frame. Let me just quickly draw in the wash line here. Okay, the wash line will be drawn based on the high of the previous candle. So this candle had a close above the previous high and this one would be the wash lines. Okay, here we go. Then flip that into a one hour chart. You realize that uh, it's very clear price the move up and only at this long bar here, we have a close below the wash line near to a resistance. So this is a resistance. And then this one is your wash line. That's if it's above it, it's going to be bullish. But if it's below this wash line, right, it's going to be bearish, right? Above it, it's going to be bullish, right? Sell would be below the wash line so I'll be looking to sell when price close below the wash line and right now the sell trade is activated at the top here so this is the place that I'm going to put the stop loss just slightly above the wash line and of course uh, anywhere that's below will become the uh, target profit because of the lack of zeta I'm just going to move into the day chart again to check some of the key levels obviously we reached the key levels here so this is right now the key level for a possible profit take. I am actually shifting the trade into a break even here so that in any case, if we continue to move down, I'll be getting more profit. But if it doesn't, then this trade would be at a break even with no loss. The whole idea of a wash and rinse is that, you know, you have this very obvious region. For example, you have a very obvious resistant region and that's usually given by, for example, historical high or you know, moving averages of Fibonacci or pivots, whatever you have that. This resistant region is being watched by so many traders out there. And of course, you have algos who can watch it. You have professional traders who can watch it as well. Right. Instead of price moving and approaching the resistant region in a very calm manner, it will usually have this impulse movement. Pulse movement leading to long, wide, solid candlestick, like as if it's going to break above this resistant region. But then you know that that's like a fake move that's that's like a manipulation of the market and of course you don't really want to put a stop loss near to this resistant region because then there's things like stop hunting and people would just stop hunt all this trades right that just placed as a limit order near to the resistant region so our solution is to draw a wash line all right, the wash line will define the boundary and if price is above it it will continue to be bullish if price is below it and that would be bearish and that will be a sign for us to sell near the resistant region. All right now in this example here of Euro Pound, again I've illustrated how to trade 
the wash and rinse on the sell side. Let's take a look at Euro Pound chart. Here's Euro Pound. We know that price has been moving down in a downtrend with a series of lower highs and lower low. Now at this place here, price retrades into a very strong resistance region that's marked by this grey zone. This is given by the previous low and that gives us a resistance. If you didn't manage to see the grey zone of resistance, you might only see, for example, the blue zone of resistance, then you will measly to believe the green color candle is a very strong bullish bar. But that's not true. Price is heading right now into a resistant region. Of course, then we can't predict whether there is a breakthrough or not. All right, the only solution is to draw in the wash line. The wash line is drawn if you have priced above the previous high. We just have to draw at the high of the previous bar. Case here because this bar, let me just mark as two and one. Two had a closed above one high. We just draw a horizontal line at the high of one. If price is is trading below this green wash line, it will be bearish and will be going short. If it doesn't, and it will continue to hover here, and it might just eventually break. Right, the whole idea is the wash line at about eighty six. Here, it's gonna be our boundary, our divider above it will continue to be bullish, below it would be a wash and rinse and we are going to go for a short. At this bar, it's going to be our rinse bar because this one is a price that trades below the green wash line and hence this would be our wash bar. This bar had been purposely manipulated to push right into a resistance zone leading to some stops being flushed out or some stop hunting to happen but our action is going to come at this wash bar here and let's take a look at what happened right this, this was a very recent trade that i did uh, price managed to move down and i'm actually aiming for a profit target that's here so in terms of the reward to raise ratio this is a short position our position is just we can just short around here on our profit target here and the stop loss is just slightly above the range but for this trade, uh, the reward to risk ratio is about 1.7. Sometimes we can achieve like a reward to risk ratio of 2 plus to 3 on the wash and rinse trade. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I've designed the whole wash and rinse system. I call it the alien wash. Yes, the alien wash. If you are interested to know more about the alien wash, do leave a comment in the comment section. And if you think that this video is something that you want to know further, all right, please subscribe to the channel so that whenever I make new videos, you will be notified and remember to give a thumbs up. Thank you. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> Just thought of updating um, the whole progress in Simski, Singapore Free Index, the trade which I talked about yesterday. So it's the day after and we traded on the wash and means let me just do a bit of recap. This is the wash bar, it smooths up and this is the rinse bar. Right, our trigger would be a H1 trigger. This is the one hour chart. The trigger entry would be somewhere around here, about 288. And right now, price is about here at this place, about 284. Now, this means that this trade is about a four points profit. That's about 400 sing dollar per contract. Uh, but it's still moving down. Uh, one thing I need you to observe a little bit about wash and rinse is how explosive the trade can be because after that wash and rinse, it's just gushed down. Hope that you enjoy this video and really that's goodbye for now. Have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like?